Hello out there, I am Jamie Hazelwood. And I am Tommy Sims. And you are tuned in here to see a special little demo that's going to be all about how we go about creating this specific little film, our very first one, entitled Mousetrap. So with the sequence of things, with you guys taking a peek at hopefully at all the other videos that we have, this one here kind of crams in how long all of this stuff takes. Right, Tommy? That's absolutely right. You're probably a little bit overwhelmed, hopefully not too overwhelmed, by the number of videos that we have, but not to worry. An animation like this should only take a short period of time, and by short period of time, we only mean... I'd say right around a month. Probably a month. Especially if this is your first time, which hopefully it is, just kind of getting used to everything. So, as you can see from this kind of set here, it's just one of the basic boxes. And uh, we use this as our first kind of prototype tutorial for uh, hopefully you guys' first film, because this is actually what me and Tommy do in the summers with our fun summer camps. We all, a lot of the kids, they have one week to actually create this all. Right, you're given like a shoebox or something, you have to decorate it and then create characters to populate your set. And this is easily something that you could accomplish within those hours of our classes at the summer camps. Right. And obviously since we only have that week there, they have that limited time. Whereas you guys, you'll have as much time as you want to kind of detail it and everything as such. Because we'll go through each element here just to kind of give you an overview of each one of the elements. Because as you guys are hopefully kind of understanding with Claymation, it's definitely a lot of different areas as far as building, sculpting, animating, all that stuff. Which really, in my opinion, makes it that much more fun. Right, Tommy? That's absolutely right. So I guess let's start off with the set since we have it up and ready to go right away. And as you guys can see here, this is just clearly a box that is decorated with uh, construction paper. That's pretty much all you really need for a set like this. And that's just a matter of decorating the walls with flat pieces of paper and the floor and then creating the uh, windows and whatnot and cutting out the furniture. Right. So you can see a lot of these little balls that we have here, which are obviously something that we didn't make. These are just like little little pet toys. So Yeah, these little pom-pom balls you can find at any craft store in your local area. Yeah, or a pet store, since that seems that's to be true. what they love, yeah. which, is, which is good for us because that's what our characters are, which leads us right to our characters. All right, so first things first, let's start off with probably the simplest character that you'll be making for this film, and that would be this little mouse, hence the name Mousetrap. Whoa. Spoiler alert. So that guy should probably take, I'd say, an hour tops, if not less, to create. Yeah, that's definitely like a 20 minutes to half hour. Yeah, and not to worry, we will walk you through step by step, as we will with every step along the way of this animation. Oh, yes. So, uh, our next character that we build here uh, will be our dog, which you can see here, our nice little pooch. All right, so... He will be obviously a little bit more time because, as you can see from just having him right next to that mouse, it's he's definitely a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed as well. Absolutely. So, Tommy, how would you long or how long would you say that this guy takes? Well, if the mouse, if you think that he takes an hour, this dog could take maybe two hours. Once again, this all depends upon your skill set, but we will walk you through step by step how to create this character. And the videos to create him aren't an hour long. Uh, it's just a matter of you guys following along and if you need to rewind the video or watch it over and over again to get um, the sculpt just right. Or you could just kind of follow along and uh, create your own kind of dog as well. Absolutely. And the one thing that we emphasize in all of our videos and especially here is that this is just what we made for our uh, for our film right here. We definitely encourage you guys, if maybe black's your favorite color for dog, you go right ahead. If you want to make your own color, that's perfectly fine because the beauty of claymation is that you have control over how this person looks, how this animal looks, and how your set looks. So don't get too distraught or too hung up on if you don't have it exactly how we have it because we encourage you guys to make it your own. If you don't want him to have a tail or you don't want him to have droopy ears or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. Exactly. All right, so... Uh, once we have that guy completed, now comes the star of the show, who we have aptly named Crash. Oh, yeah. Which, little fun fact, he's actually the star of our whole studio. Exactly. He's our mascot. Exactly. So this is like a little prequel, an origin story, if you will, as to how he became our mascot, because he is the star of our first film, Mousetrap. Yeah. All right, Tommy, so how long would you say it takes to make our star of the show here. Once again, probably uh, about the same time as the dog, maybe two hours, maybe a little bit more, depending upon your skill set again. And as usual, we will walk you through step by step. And he's pretty much the same build as the dog. It's just that the dog here, 
um, isn't on all four legs. And one little tidbit that you guys should know right now is that these characters are currently baked in an oven. And if you don't know, the polymer clay that we use is able to be baked to be hardened for uh, a long-term keepsake. Whereas uh, when we're animating, we keep the clay raw so you can uh, mush it around and manipulate the characters frame by frame. Right, you may be wondering why he's standing so still, and that's exactly why. Because these guys were at some point very malleable, which obviously uh, this set and all the characters were built already, so we're taking this after everything is done. As to kind of recap everything, because now that we've completed it, we can give you guys a pretty good estimate as to how long this stuff will take. Right, and another uh, factor into how long these characters will take to make would be how much detail you decide to put in there. Um, obviously you can take clay tools and kind of sketch in little hairlines all around your character, um, but we actually advise against that for the time being for a film like this because when the clay is raw and you're physically moving the characters around, all those little details that you etched in will be smushed away as your fingers touch the characters and you'll have to either just kind of let it go or decide to go back in and scratch them in frame by frame. But by doing that, it'll look like the fur is constantly moving and that might not be an effect that you want. So we just decide to keep them nice and smooth for these uh, beginner films. Absolutely, yeah. We don't want to overwhelm you guys, especially when you're first starting out, because we definitely want you to feel comfortable. We want you to really love what you're doing. So we don't want to put too much on there for you. All right, great. So those three are our main characters. So we went over the set. It takes a few hours for that to kind of get everything how you wanted. Uh, with the characters, about a few hours each, with the mouse obviously only being half hour to an hour. And now that we have everything all set and ready to go, then comes the really fun part, and that's actually animating it. And... So when it comes to that, obviously we like to emphasize to storyboard things out and have a good clear vision as to what you want to happen with all of our characters, which again we go through everything in a step by step. But we, the purpose of these videos too is just to kind of give you little hints of each area, so that way you guys have a good idea before kind of diving deep into this. Right. With the storyboarding process too, you'll also be designing and actually drawing out these characters before you sculpt them too, so once again you know how you want them to look before you create them and the storyboard being kind of a panel-by-panel -panel comic book, if you will, of your film. Um, that could take a few hours, too, depending upon how much uh, you want to put in your film. Right, absolutely. So, um, if you guys have seen the final video, you know that it's about, I think, what, 30 seconds? Probably about 30 seconds. 30 seconds to, uh, to a minute, which may not seem like much, but there's an awful lot of pictures that go into that. So, with that being said, I would say about the whole process of this animation probably take, what, about... A good solid chunk of maybe five hours? Probably, easily. Because uh, if you think about it, uh, one frame of an animation, uh, one single, uh, not one, one frame, one second of animation could be anywhere from like 12 to 30 pictures or frames um, per that second. And I think we shot this one at probably 12, I would imagine. So Roughly. that's, uh, multiply that by 30 and that's how much... Um, how many pictures you'll have to wind up taking. Keep in mind, you'll have to move each one of these characters for every frame, too. Right. That's a good way to kind of think of it. When we say 12 frames, what we're doing is moving him just a little bit, taking that picture, just a little bit, taking that picture. And so for every 12th one, that's about a second. And you also want to remember to remove your hand from every picture to make sure that your hand isn't shown in the final film. Right. Great. Uh, so I'd say that just about wraps up for this one because, again, we just kind of wanted to go over time management and everything. And we would also don't want to make it seem like you have to do it all in one big chunk. When we say hours or a time uh, accumulated, it's kind of more of what that all amounts to. We definitely don't want you to just sit down and ruin a perfectly beautiful day out where you guys are to just do this all day. We definitely want you to get out and get some inspiration for all of your awesome ideas. You could definitely do it at your own pace, which is great. So you can just maybe just do a little bit here and there for this week and then maybe do a little bit more the next week. So there's no sort of set pace that you guys have to do. We by no, we, no means want to make it sound like, you know, if this is taking longer for you, that's a bad thing. Because just like how you can make this your own, you don't necessarily have to set up to our standards as to how long things take either. Exactly. And that's also why these uh, films live online for you guys to come back and watch over and over so you can just watch it at your own pace. Right. Absolutely. So... Like we said uh, in the very beginning, this is about the scope of, and size of the project we have for our uh, animated camps, which took about a week, uh, and they had about, what, an hour and a half every day? I don't Probably know. an hour and a half to two hours each day. Right, and the characters are a little bit more detailed as to what they had there, but that's also because of the time management. So, uh, given the, the scope of these, I would say probably two weeks, two to four weeks about. Right, so, so if the kids at the summer one-week summer art camp could accomplish all of this within a short period of 14 hours, imagine what you could do with all of your free time. Absolutely. 
And so, uh, the, like we mentioned, this is just kind of the very first one to kind of get you guys, get your feet wet into it, and hopefully you really like it and kind of take off with it. So, again, we don't want to make this too difficult, so that's why we didn't want to put too much in here. If you guys want to make this absolutely complex, you go right ahead, and we encourage that, because that's why on our website we'll have our student theater section where you guys can upload and kind of see all the work, because we want to see it just as much as you guys do. So. Yeah. With that being said, hopefully that answers some questions and kind of puts your minds at ease as to how long this will take. So, an overview, about two to four weeks. Right, Tommy? That's absolutely right. So, I guess without further ado, let's uh, start uh, working on this project and get animated. All right. Well, we'll see you guys there in the beginning. Thanks, guys.